Hey, so you've made the jump to Blue Sky, but you're not sure why some are saying it's better than Twitter. Other than that, it just seems to be more focused on the things that you love to discuss, like gaming or entertainment news, with less stuff that you don't follow, and certainly no ads. Well, it's the feeds that really makes Blue Sky different and what sets it apart. But what are feeds and how can they be used and why should you even care? Well, I'm not going into great detail about what feeds are other than to say to think of them as you setting up your own cool search function, such as the example I will show you how to do today, which is just to create a feed that will pull all of the cool screenshots from a particular game that you love from anyone who has posted them, so long as they use two to three keywords, which are pretty normal keywords when posting gaming screenshots, and allow you and others to have a special feed of those that you will see daily or however often you choose to look at them. That feed and for each new screenshot that is uploaded you and everyone else will see them in real time now even if you don't want to create your own feeds you can also follow other feeds and even organize them on your main screen when you open up blue sky so you can swipe through different followed topics easily now that part of the guide will be near the end so use the timestamp below if you're not interested in actually creating a feed but just organizing them so let's get started with this quick guide so the first thing you need to do is to go to skyfeed.app and log in using your Blue Sky account info. Now it's up to you how you handle your account login info here. You can either click continue three times if you want to use your same Blue Sky login info, which is what I did, or you can possibly go in and set up a different one if you prefer just for this app separate from your Blue Sky info. Now once in the app, this is an app that has a few uses, but we're just interested in the feed builder option. Once you click that from the left side here, you will then have an option at the top to create your feed. It'll also show you any other feeds that you have. Once you click this, there is already a template example given called Hello World, which is a PC history throwback. Now you'll see a few fields such as feed name, input entire network, remove if item, regex, and sort by. And so let's go ahead and go through these briefly and I'll tell you what you can put in these fields to set up an example feed, which in this case will be a No Man's Sky screenshot of virtual photography to allow fans of No Man's Sky to have a feed dedicated to nothing but glorious No Man's Sky pictures taken and posted by gamers. All right, so in the first field, it'll be your feed name. Now just call it what you want. Now I'm gonna use NMS screenies. Now you don't want your name to be too long because it will be a amongst other feed names in your blue sky HUD at the top, but more on that later. Now you can add more blocks to further customize your feed. Now for this, we didn't need to. For input, you could just have to show the last 24 hours if you want, but I chose the last seven days. So going forward, that is what the feed will always show. Now the next field I left alone, it basically means to remove a post if it's a reply. So for this feed, we just want the pictures that are posted. We don't want to see the replies of people saying that the picture looks cool or it's awesome. Those comments don't need to be part of this feed. And the very next field is where your options can be blown wide open because it uses some code. Now I'm not a programmer and had to look up this format that I'm going to show you now, but just know that for those who are familiar with this regex language, there is a lot of powerful things that you can do with these feeds. For those basic like me, we want to put our keywords here, but you cannot just add them all together. They need to be done a special way in order to search and pull what we want. So for this feed, we want No Man's Sky and Virtual Photography or No Man's Sky Screenshot. Now, because these are the keywords that most people add to their screenshots when they post. So first up, you don't want to add any spaces between the words, not even between the separate keywords. After you type in the first word, which here is No Man's Sky, all together, you put a period and then an asterisk or star or whatever you want to call it, which is the control and A button. Then you add the word virtual photography. Again, no spaces. As you can see, after typing in these keywords, the feed is already showing us results. Then, because like I said, people either put NMS virtual photography or they might do No Man's Sky screenshots, we need to add that secondary keyword for the search. So we simply separate our next set of keywords by the divider line, which is that key that's just above the enter key, which you get by pressing the control in that key. Then we just add in the next phrase, which is No Man's Sky, period, asterisk, screenshot. Now, I also wanted to add NMS virtual photography, literally NMS, because many people do abbreviate No Man's Sky down to that, especially if their post is running a little long in words. So I added that as well, so it also gets picked up in the feed. 
Now you can also add any other words that may pertain to what you're trying to do, but make sure you have that line between each set. Now one note here is that the little invert button is going to change those accepted and looked for keywords that you just added into block terms. So don't press that unless you want those keywords to be blocked. But it is good to know if you ever wanted to create a feed that removes certain posts based on keywords. Now the last field is the sort by field which allows you some creative control over how the feed is organized. You can do by creation date or by likes or what have you. So that option is completely yours. I left mine as creation date. And then that's pretty much it. You're ready to publish the feed. Now it's going to ask you for an icon, which I just used the No Man's Sky logo for this one. And then I added a description so people would know what this is. You can then publish it and then you can actually have a link generated that you can share to others so they too can add this feed and follow. One more thing before we're finished is to add the feed to your list of feeds that you see when you open up Blue Sky. So stay tuned for that. So it's pretty easy to add feeds and organize them according to your preference to where they can be the first feed that you see when you open Blue Sky or they can be further down the line. Just go to your feeds option on the left side, then a list of your feeds shows and at the top click edit. Now from here you can pin or unpin feeds and move them up or down with the arrows to sort their order. Then just save the changes and you're all set. You are now a Twitter refugee living in a new vast kingdom with more advanced options than we ever had anywhere else. Just be sure to share this little guide because with this knowledge you can create all kinds of feeds for anything that you like from gaming to specific topics, it could be Lego news, it could be anything really. This truly is the next coming of social media done right. Anyway, thanks for watching.